Welcome back, guys. I'm Mike. And I'm Stephanie. And we're Van Life Sheldon's Travels. Sheldon, he's our yellow belly slider turtle. He's hanging out in his tank in the back of the van here today. But, uh... In the last video, we left you off at the John Wayne Museum and how we checked out the visitor center and the lady told us we should definitely see the bridges of Madison County while we're in the area. So today, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to take you on a romantic ride through the countryside to see the bridges of Madison County. And I know one of you, at least one of you, have seen one of the six little videos we made, but I wanted to make those little videos so we could tag them to Google Maps and when people went to search for each individual um, uh, each individual bridge. bridge they would find one of our videos instead of finding this little bit longer video with a few other things that we found along the way we found a lot of cool stuff not just the bridges so this video I know is gonna be part of the bridges that you already saw but there's gonna be so much more so I hope you guys stay tuned and let's get on into the first bridge and head on to see all six today right Babe. Definitely, and we'll take you with us. All right, guys. Okay, well we're standing right in front of the Cutler Donahue Bridge. This is actually one of the six original of the night. There was actually 19, but six of them remain uh, bridges here in Madison County, which actually makes the Madison County the bridge capital of Iowa. So I found that pretty interesting. Yeah, and this is the first one on our little tour, guys. Uh, it's right next to a campground right here in downtown Madison County. So. Thought we'd look around at this one first. It was built between 1870 and 1871. There is only one of these bridges that you can still drive over. And we'll be going to that one. This one's pretty cool. Like I was saying guys, there is a campground next door to this covered bridge. It was $22 a night for full hookups. Not bad, not bad at all. It's just that you're sitting right out in the middle of the sun it looked like. And we could probably go to a Cracker Barrel tonight and an Anytime Fitness and get the same thing for free. So that works. Oh! Well, second on our tour here is the Hoswell Covered Bridge. And we'll give you a little bit more information on that when we get down here. like the wildflowers are out. All right guys, right behind us is the Hollywell Covered Bridge. This one's actually the most famous of one of the six bridges because it appeared in the movie. It was built in eight, the 1800s, 1880s. 
and um, it's actually the longest bridge at 110 feet across so that's pretty interesting all right i think this is the most famous one because it was in the in the movie but yes. uh, all of them are cool to me i yeah, think yeah absolutely so. <laughs> in fact that's Six are still standing. Originally, there was 19. That's pretty amazing. And we're actually going to get to drive over one of them today, and we'll tell you, well, you'll get to see that one. And it's been burned down twice, so that's crazy, and they just keep rebuilding it. Yeah, they want to keep replicating it and bring it and make it fun for future generations to come, and that's just so awesome that they do that. But to have the originals here from 1880 is the best. It is very neat to see all the old like nails they're huge wooden nails Dowels, so, yeah. yeah it's really interesting to see all the engineering behind this this one looks a lot like the other one but it's crazy they kind of covered them very neat yeah perfect place to have like a nice picnic in the <laughs> that'd be perfect wouldn't yeah. it outside but in here it's nice and cool and then the river is underneath you so it even makes it a lot cooler in here it's really nice all right i think we're gonna walk back to the van and uh try to find another one of these bridges for you i think this is interesting we love just being tourists like this Zero, zero, 2000. Yeah, sometimes it's just fun to walk through here and see like the oldest engraving you can find. Well, that one was pretty cool considering it's in the uh, movie. And it's still over the river. The other one was over a river, but it was a dry Ride river. river. So this one's pretty cool that it still has water. The third covered bridge here. We go through St. Charles. And they said they had a little welcome center. Yeah, actually the one we're gonna go see is the Ines Bridge that used to be in Peterson, but they moved it here to St. Charles. So that's what brought us to this town. That's pretty interesting. So we thought we'd take a minute and come inside the visitor center and check it out. Wow. Very, very nice. Coca-Cola and windows open on the side. So me and Steph just had this little discussion. When we were growing up, both of our parents had this cookbook, The Better Homes and Gardens, the one in the middle here. How many of your parents had that same book when you were growing up? Leave in the comments below. I think that'd be cool. Look at this. Look at this Campbell's chicken noodle soup collection. Well, that's pretty cool. We even got yeah. the little Campbell soup guy. Yeah. <laughs> and a little pot. Keep your uh, Too cool. soup warm. Yeah, and this one comes with a lid and everything. Wow. All kinds of cool things in this little visitor center. Mm -hmm. I've ever been yeah. through Iowa. So why not go? Yeah. Oh yeah, we're gonna get away from Iverson somewhere. Okay. But I'm not sure just where. But they then they moved it just kinda down down here. Somewhere right about there. Okay. But the first time they moved it, they moved it with horses. 
Wow. Oh, that's interesting. So, and then, um, and I'm not sure why they did them, but when they moved it from here, because it was too small for the school buses and farm machinery and stuff to get across. Gotcha. It just couldn't handle the load. Right, understandable. Mm -hmm. they, um, my cousin was a house mover at the time. And he has since passed away, but he, he moved the bridge in here for us. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. He he never, never. Um, very, very nice. So then they made this little park down here and moved it from out southwest to St. Charles. And down made a park for it. Out there. And then they moved it into this park down here. Okay, oh, yeah. so it's really been moved twice mm -hmm. now. All right. And this is the longest one, right? Oh, I'd have to look on the cards. And I think it says... Here. Uh, no, 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 the oh, oldest okay. one. The that's oldest where one. I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. the, uh, that's where I'm wrong, the I oldest think, um, one. I know this one up here. We just came from the longest one, so the there you go. Yeah. Well. yeah. And it was in the Bridges of Madison County movie also. Right. We're going to have to look that movie up. <laughs> All right, guys, we just asked if uh, how all this got moved and everything. So I think that history is interesting, and I hope you guys do, too. Yeah, I would never thought they moved it with horses. Never. Well, that's kind of how they did things. Just because the bridge washed out and they needed to put a different one in. Back then, I can't imagine because the machinery was too big. It was, it was too expensive and too much work, right? I mean, not so much expensive, but a lot of work, right? Yeah. And a lot of these roads here are still gravel roads, so that tells you that the roads back then weren't the greatest. No, they weren't. They were pretty muddy. <laughs> pretty muddy and funky, right? All right. Well, thanks for staying open for us here and letting us enjoy this beautiful uh, 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 welcome center here. Well, guys, if you're one of our Patreons, you know we send out postcards to our Patreons. If you'd like to be one of our Patreons, come on over to Patreon.com. Look us up at Van Life Sheldon's Travels, and you can become a Patreon for a dollar a month or whatever. But we always stop at these cool places and try to get some postcards. And here there's six bridges, so we're going to get a postcard from all of them and kind of pick, you know, six random random people of our, our uh, Patreons, and we do this pretty randomly, don't we, and yeah, just kind of send them out. Yeah, and then I put your name on a list, so it's not like somebody's getting skipped. There you go, so they kind of just rotate through all the Patreons and get different ones. Good deal. Thank you, thank you. I ended up getting it. Good deal. And just like a lot of places here, uh, it's cash only. So luckily we had some change in the in the van to be able to get this because a lot of times we try to not carry any more than $40, $50 in cash just in case something happens. We don't want to lose it or something like that. So, all right, we're going to get these and we'll get back on the road to our third covered bridge. Bridge. We just left the St. Charles Welcome Center. Very nice. Thank you to the lady in there that gave us all that information. Well, we made it to the Imes Covered Bridge. This one was built in 1870, making it the oldest covered bridge. So that's pretty interesting. All right, guys, this one was moved twice, like she was telling us at the visitor center, to this little park right here. Yep, now we're gonna go across it. It's really nice whenever, you know, you run into these little visitor centers and just like at Mammoth Cave, the guy that gave the tours, you know, this lady's husband, and this lady's brother or part of her, her cousin actually helped move this bridge so like that kind of history and to meet those people is kind of what i really really enjoy yeah, about youtube and it I is like, I like how they the little path on right nice. i i just think that's just the most interesting stuff is when you get to meet the people mm -hmm. 
walk back through, or we can take this path down here. I think we're gonna take this path down here and see what it looks like from the outside. That way you get to kind of see. Yeah, I love the lattice work up there, kind of making it like windows. That's that's very interesting, very neat. Well, I'm I you know I'm not an expert here at covered bridges or anything. We did see one in Georgia. Uh, before these, I think that's the only other covered bridge we've seen. But I'm assuming they did this because of the snow. And so that the bridge didn't get snow on it and made it easier to remove, you know, and and go down it. I, I'm I, That's all I can assume. I mean, if you know more about it, let me know in the comments below. I'm sure I could do a little research, but... Kind of just seems like that would be, make the most sense. All right, well, three down and three to go. Let's load up. You could even have a little lunch right here if you wanted. Guys selling sweet corn. If we had any extra cash, we didn't spend it at the visitor center. Got us a couple of ears for dinner. Looks like this is the only one that you can drive through. This one was completed in 1883. The Cedar Bridge was featured on the book cover of the Bridge of Madison County. A replica now stands in its place. So this is the replica. Oh wow, I wonder okay. if we're gonna... Can we make it? Oh, we got this. We got it. Wow, look at this. We are in the covered bridge that was on the book cover in our van. That's so cool. Oh, you gotta stop right here and let me yeah. get a picture. All well, right. we just drove right through the Cedar Bridge. That was so awesome. Look at that. We just had to get out and take a picture of the van right there in the entrance of the Cedar Bridge. That's so cool. This is the only one you could drive through. It is. So, yeah. all right. This is number three, right? Four. <laughs> this is actually number four. Number four. We've so been to a lot of bridges today. Have got our... two more to go. All right, guys. Now that's just pretty cool. Well, I think now we're gonna turn around and head to the Hogback. The Hogback. Uh, oh, okay. Alright, off to the next one. Somebody lose their bus? Wow. The cows found it. Well, looks like we're coming up on it. This is the hog hogback bridge. Feet. Your destination will be on the left. Well, this is number five. Hogback bridge. And as you can tell, they just they put up a new bridge. Thank goodness they decided not to tear this one down. 
Well, we made it to the Hogback Covered Bridge. It was built in 1884. It sits over the North River with a span of 98 feet. It's pretty nice, number five on the list, guys. So let's go walk through it. Yeah, I'm, I'm loving this every minute of it. This one looks a lot similar to all the rest, guys. And if you're wondering, they put these white boards here at the end for people to come and put their names on so that they don't put their names in other places here. Oh, this is pretty cool. Dreamer's Journal, Hogback, even has a little, little spoon here built into it and a place for a pen and a map of everything. That's uh, some of the John Wayne's birthplace paid that's pretty cool. But yeah, these look pretty much the same as the other ones. Very nice. You checking out the journal? Yes, and it's actually, it says, Greetings, we have kept this journal for 10 years. Please feel free to leave us a note. Thanks. Oh, wow. Bush Mills. Covered bridge. At yahoo.com. Oh, wow. Maybe I'll uh, email him this video. Oh, this is, they must have filled one up because this started 7220, so this is the new one that they filled Oh, wow, so. How awesome is that? Pretty cool. Yeah, we'll have to write a little something. I walk all the way to the end here. guys they say you can write right here on the white portions of the uh the bridge on these two little sections in the on the front and in, on both sides they told us that at the uh, visitor center and they also had a sign of it at the last bridge talking about it but steph put our van life sheldon's travels right there on it marked our youtube Good deal. Right, well, I just wrote a little note. Van Life Southern Travels. Follow us on YouTube. All right, guys. That works. We're going to get on out of here and make our way back into town. And then we're going to make our way to the sixth and final cover bridge. Got a nice couple there, but we're gonna head and get some fuel and then we're gonna head on to cover bridge number six. Alright, here's the last one on the list. A Roseman covered bridge. Alright. Well, this is the last bridge on the trip yeah, here. This is the Roseman Bridge. This is the most popular of the bridges thanks to its feature in the bridges of Madison County. It was built in 1883. Good deal. Yeah, I can nice. see why they uh, chose to do it out here. I mean, it's pretty much a 15 minute drive from the last one down a gravel road for sure <laughs> and you're pretty much in the middle of nowhere i would say It'd be a good way to think about it so for a film set i'm sure this is perfect We decided to take this little path down here to the water. There you go. All right, 
right, well, we're going to walk back to the van over the bridge one more time. Yeah, this one's pretty awesome. I know there were a couple other ones where we could have went down by the water and, and looked at it. I think that was more of like the Hollywell Bridge. But it's really neat that... I noticed there was something written along the bottom of the bridge while we were down there on the other side. So I thought we'd come underneath here and check it out. Oh, it's uh, for like if you're kayaking. It's like the oh, okay. Elderberry, Elderberry Avenue, 8.7 miles to Panama Park, Ford Access, number 63. All right. This bridge, 0.2 miles. That's that pretty that makes sense uh, that makes a lot more sense so basically if you're kayaking down the river that would give you a reference point of where you were and how much longer you have to go all right well i guess we're gonna load up try to find some dinner and a place to spend the night Offers. Yeah, that uh, that cinnamon roll didn't last very long. We've been going all day looking at all these uh, I mean, these bridges and in the been heat. About six hours since we had lunch. It no, is. It hasn't been that long. Maybe like four hours. I don't know. It's almost seven o'clock at night, so it's been about seven hours. Oh, yeah, seven uh, hours <laughs> all right. It's been about six, seven hours. All right, we're gonna enjoy some dinner quick and easy five dollar meal you can't beat that for the two of us five dollars so we're gonna make our way a little bit further tonight and we'll bring After a long day of being out and about and doing, we need a shower, so. Yeah, it was a nice sunny day. Mike and I both feel like we got sun, so we yeah. nice to just kind of wash off the day a little bit. I think so. So, here's Anytime Fitness. I'm going to call it there, and uh, I'm sure we'll find some place to uh, park, for the, park for the evening and get back at you when we get done taking us a shower. If not, we'll see you in the morning. You got it.